Good morning everybody. Oh, my voice. So, this is the first time I've spoken today and it turns out I've lost my voice a little bit. I did quite a lot of shouting yesterday, so that'll explain it. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to Anaheim. Anaheim is, if you're not sure, about an hour and a half outside of Los Angeles. I've been in LA for the last sort of four days and I'm, I've come across here now for VidCon. This is my only day in VidCon this year. Now, if you're not sure what VidCon is, it happens every year. It's kind of like, it's basically a video convention, as the name would suggest, where lots of YouTubers and social media people um, turn out, lots of like fans and audience and subscribers come along to meet everyone. It's really cool. I've been for the last, like, it's must be like my fifth or sixth time. I've been every year since I started doing this whole shenanigans, bar one like two years ago that I missed. Um, anyway, I'm in Anaheim and this is what it's like. So um, there's a weird sort of indoor, outdoor setup going on in my hotel. As you can see, I've got like a balcony here as if it was outdoors, but that's the lobby down there to the, the uh, and the reception area down to the hotel. And then the outdoors is behind that window there. Anyway, cool. So I've literally just woken up this just now, and that's why the first time I've spoken is to you guys. Um, and I'm about to get ready, so I figured why not do a get ready with me type section to this video. Welcome to the bathroom. So the first thing I do every morning is brush my teeth. I get straight from bed into the bathroom and give a good brush. So you might know this, I've been working with Oral B for a while now, um, and here I have a new toothpaste. It's not a new toothpaste, I've been using this for a long time. This is a new tube. This is Oral B Pro Expert, and it's the number one toothpaste used by dentists. Now, recently, here's a fun fact. I've had my checkups reduced by the dentist. It used to be every six months, and now I'm once a year because they're so proud of how my teeth go. So this is my toothbrush in this sexy little uh, travel case here. This is the Oral B Genius 9000. I've talked about it loads of times. Um, I just think it's really, really cool and also sexy for a toothbrush. Um, so I'm going to put my toothpaste on the toothbrush. Do you know what? Oral health is actually genuinely really important. You might not know this, but there's a lot that goes on in your mouth, like a lot of bacteria and all sorts. And it's also the main entry point into your body, so you have to look after it, you know. Uh, I work out a lot, I look after my body, you should also look after your mouth. So, brushing my teeth, first thing I do. It feels weird brushing my teeth with an audience, it's my first time doing this. So, the Oral-B Pro Expert has a thing called Stannous Fluoride Complex in it, uh, and it's exclusive to Oral-B toothpaste, and actually it fights the, the eight main areas that dentists um, check, so uh, tooth sensitivity, tartar buildup, cavities, um, gum sensitivity, plaque buildup, bad breath, uh, enamel erosion, I think that's everything. Have I listened all eight? I'm like a genius. Um, but yeah, it's very good. So now my mouth is clean, I'm going to hop in the shower. Um, so basically, I have a travel kit, because I travel so much, I have this travel bag here, uh, which is always ready to go. So I have my stuff at home, and I've got a kit that just comes with me around the world, which means I don't have to like repack and stuff. So in it, I have a cleanser, this is Clinique for Men, which I'm going to use in the shower now, and it's a charcoal face wash. Charcoal kind of draws out impurities in your skin and also um, sucks up any excess oil. But I don't have shampoo or shower gel, because in a hotel, they always have it. So. The choice today is this. I've got Kennet MD um, shampoo, I've got a body wash, and I've got a conditioner. Right, let's shower. Right, I've washed, um, weirdly, right? I don't know why, every time I get out of the shower, my hair naturally goes into weird 90s curtains. It's just an awful hairstyle on me. Anyway, so I'm now uh, clean and dry. I put some deodorant on. Um, I don't know anything about this deodorant. All I know is I was in Italy once and I ran out of the deodorant I normally use, so I picked this one up. I'm a big fan of a roll-on as opposed to anything else because um, I just like the way they feel on my armpits, basically. They do a good job. Right, skin. So, my skin's very simple. I have uh, an eye cream here. This is by Kiehl's. It's called um, Age Defender. I like this one for traveling because it comes in like a little tub as opposed to a tube, which can, when you fly, they can build up pressure and then squirt everywhere and stuff. So, use your ring finger because it's a bit um, less... I mean, look, look, they're quite powerful. That was just rubbish. So, actually, you're not going to damage the sensitive skin around your eyes. Um, get a little bit on each finger. And then just kind of around the sensitive skin here. This is like quite an intense cream, so it's actually really um, nourishing and moisturising. Uh, and I'm getting older, so I need to make sure I'm looking after myself. Right, now I'm going to simply put on some moisturiser. There are like serums and stuff you can use and all that stuff, but when I'm travelling, you know, I've only got limited room, so let's keep it quite simple. Here I have the Lab Series for Men. Uh, BB Moisturiser SPF 35. It's really important to use SPF because even on a day like today where it's a bit overcast, uh, the UV rays penetrate the clouds, they penetrate your skin, and even if you don't get a tan, 
It basically ruins the collagen in your skin and leads to premature aging and of course skin cancer. This has a tiny bit of colour in it, so actually, although it's not like a foundation and won't give you um, coverage, just even just skin tone a bit, so I think really nice for a guy, you know? I don't necessarily want to look like I've got loads of makeup and stuff on, but I actually do want my skin to look as good as possible, so... Um, bit of this. One thing I do find with this is that whenever I open it, even though I used it yesterday, it's always got like a little congealed bit <laughs> around the uh, around the rims. So I have to find it and then flick it off like that. There we go. But I don't know if you can see. It's like it's very slightly coloured. So when it goes on your skin, it just makes it look a little bit more even. And actually, it's a very nice moisturiser too. Next thing is more SPF. This is SPF 50, it's Neuroed. Now if it was a really hot day, I'd put this on my face too. But actually, I put this on the back of my neck because I'm really paranoid about the sun um, damaging my skin. And the back of my neck is perpetually tanned, so I put a bit of factor 50 on the back of my neck and the tops of my ears because that's what gets burnt on me quite often. And that is my face done, simple as that. Next step, hair. Now here's what I do with my hair. I towel dry it first, so it's kind of dryish, a bit damp, whatever. Then, my hair's quite long at the moment. It used to be a bit shorter than this, but I'm quite enjoying slightly longer hair. However, that comes with slightly higher maintenance. Because it's um, long, if I don't put any sort of anything in it before I put my products in it, like a salt spray here, it just kind of goes meh. So I add a bit of salt spray to give it a bit of texture in the, you know, the length now. Like that. And then what I do is find the, uh, the hair dryer in the hotel. I've got no idea where it's gonna be. Is it in here? Yes, in here. Good stuff. Now you can always tell a good hotel by how good the hairdryer is, so let's find out. Ah, there we go. I dry my hair mostly, just normally. The front bit though, the fringe here, I will kind of dry upwards because my hair's quite heavy. And because I wear my hair off my face, um, if, if, it, if I don't dry it that way, it just kind of flops down during the day. And that's that done. I'm going to add a bit more salt spray for good measure. Uh, by the way, this is, I got it yesterday, Rockaway. Never heard of it before, it makes an American brand, I got it from an American salon. Um, yeah. A bit more, into dry hair. Just gives it a bit of texture, you know? And then, my actual product. This is American Crew uh, Grooming Cream. And it looks like this. It's, it's not good for everyone's hair. I've got thick hair, so it works quite well for me. But if you haven't got hair like me, it might be too overpowering for yours. Um, so I need just a little bit of this. Warm it up in my hands, like so, and then simply just kind of rub it through. I can actually do my hair without a mirror because it's so simple. I just make sure it's evenly coated through, like that, and I just kind of push the front out of the way. Hair done. So that is me just about done in the bathroom. The only other thing I have to do is put on some fragrance. Before I do that, I'm going to put on the rest of my outfit, so when I do put the fragrance on, everything smells nice, not just the t-shirt I'm wearing underneath. And here is today's look. I have a white denim jacket by Whistles. I only wear this jacket when I come to California because it's never warm enough to pull out a white denim jacket anywhere else, I feel. Uh, pink jumper from Reese. Uh, my jeans are, they're actually, I think, vintage 501s from Levi's, so they're all like tattered and fallen to bits, but I love them because they're sort of loose and casual. And then uh, white Converse. Now, last thing is to put on my fragrance. This fragrance is again my travel fragrance. Uh, it's called Pasha de Cartier, and actually every time I wear this, um, I get complimented on it. It's just, I think for travelling it's nice, it's really light and fresh. Um, and not too, oh my phone's going off, not too overpowering and heavy. So, it, you know, when I'm travelling somewhere nice and warm, you don't really want a fragrance that's kind of um, heavy and stuff, you know? So it's light and fresh and I like it a lot. And that, let's put this on with one hand. Hang on, here we go. And this is me ready for the day. Uh, in the lift now and off my first thing, which is a panel, which is about YouTube versus real life. Now, I was in a bit of a rush to get to breakfast, so I've got uh, two bits of melon, one watermelon, one uh, cantaloupe. <laughs> off we go. So I just mentioned it to you briefly a minute ago, but let's face it, the star of that little clip were my two melons. So um, I'm now on my way to my first thing, which is a panel. Basically, a panel is like a discussion. So you have a bunch of people that you're uh, on, a, on a stage with, I suppose, and then a bunch of people in the audience listening to you chat and asking questions and stuff. Uh, this one's about what it's like being a YouTuber versus like real life stuff. Oh, um, I need to show my pass. You got your pass, Georgia? There. I've got my pass. Here's my pass, Georgia. Oh my god, Bee's just got it. So unprofessional. Oh no! <laughs> oh dearie me, Georgia <laughs> Kelly. Wow. Here we are. Georgia forgot her pass, she's had to run back and go and get it. I did offer. But she's like, no, I've got it, it's my fault. So she legged it off, but she's got, she's so short, we've got tiny legs, it's going to take us so long to get there and back. I offered to go, I'm much quicker, but off she ran anyway. So um, we are running a bit late, but hey ho, whatever, it's fine.
is all glamour at the back of VidCon. This is how you get places uh, through like the, the tunnels and the things. Uh, this is our, our first sort of buggy ride. Usually, like, uh, this is my favourite thing about VidCon, you just get buggied everywhere, it's great. Oh, we're finished. Just, it literally went from there to here. Whoa, we'll check out the Instagram room. How cool is this? Mirrors everywhere. They've got like funky lights and stuff. So I'm actually supposed to be in the room adjacent to this one, um, waiting to get called for my um, my panel, but I was really hungry and they have bananas in here. So I came and got a banana and it's like the coolest room in the world. What else have they got? They've got like hexagons. What's this room? It's, it's the world's loneliest disco in here. Go on, go for it. I'm just gonna two step it in here. On my own in the disco room. So they've got a massive hamster wheel. Why not? I'm saying. It's really early in the morning and everyone else thinks I'm going to have to Oh my god! It does make a bit of a racket, doesn't it? Oh my god! Hi everyone, uh, my name is Peter Chapman. Um, I have been on YouTube now for about seven years or something. Um, uh, I do. I, the way I look at my, my content is kind of like. Anything I'm into, I get to talk about. Uh, I do some vlogging sometimes, I bake occasionally, uh, not very well. Actually, I say not very well, I'm accidentally brilliant at baking. Um, I had no idea, but I just followed the instructions and everything I've made has been brilliant. Um, <laughs> I also um, do fashion stuff and kind of whatever I want to talk about, really. Uh, but it's brilliant, it's a great job. So, um, that was my <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't. <laughs> I, 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 I was going to do it. It's going to be all kind of like casual. Just like casual. <laughs> I just met a viewer and gave, she gave me micro hands. I don't understand them. It's so weird and so British. But I've got a really weird gift to give you. I was like, okay. And then she pulled this plastic bag out and I thought it might be living. Because the way she was like holding it, I was like, is there something alive in there? She's just pulling out too many hands. What are these things? I'm weirdly obsessed though. Georgia hates them. Oh my god, please get them away. You. It's touching you. Oh my god. <laughs> really weird. We're in the belly of the convention centre again, trying to work out where we're going, and not one of us knows the direction. <laughs> it's time for my meetup. Um, I'm not sure how, how many people are going to be at meetup. Do you know, guys? How many? Do you know how many people coming to my meetup? Nope, not a clue. So we're, we're winging it. I am going to remove my white denim jacket. It was a terrible idea because obviously lots of people who watch my videos wear makeup, and I end up with just like smudges of makeup all over me. So. Just going to go pink jumper, I think, for the meetup. But yeah, looking forward to it. It'd be nice to see lots of faces. I've obviously had a bit of a wander around and seen people, but I haven't gone far because obviously it suddenly gets mental. There's people everywhere and it's madness. So I've just kind of stuck to some corridors. So it'd be nice to actually see people en masse. <laughs> Long day. Uh, I'm back in my hotel room now, and I'm gonna have like 20 minutes or so just to sort of decompress because I've, I've done a lot today. There's a lot that I didn't actually film as well because I had meetings and stuff in between um, everything else I've been doing. Um, but yeah, very successful day, and it's been nice to be here. I'm actually heading back to LA this evening. There's another party tonight, so I might um, hang out with Team Gleam for a bit um, and then um, head back to LA. But uh, thanks very much for watching. Oh, my meeting break was really good, by the way. I don't know if I spoke when I spoke to you last. Was it after that? I can't remember, but it was really good. It was really lovely. I actually got a chance to chat um, to people a bit too. Usually, it's a case of, hi, get a photo and off they go. But I you know, got to ask a few questions, like whether people were enjoying their time here and stuff. And it was really nice. So, I'm going to end this video now so I can um, put my camera on charge and import this footage and start editing and stuff. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.